Once again, the way this activity works is we're going to call out different groupings. If a grouping we call applies to you, you'll cross over the line, go as far as you can without sitting in the chairs on the other side. Then we want you to breathe. Just notice how it feels to cross the line. Because every time you step across this line, you're going to step into a group that has less privilege, less power, and can sometimes be abused physically or emotionally simply for being who they are. Please cross the line if you've ever felt hurt or judged because of the color of your skin. And please cross the line if you've ever been teased or hurt because somebody thought you were fat or too big. Where did we learn to judge people's bodies? Where did we learn to be so mean? Please cross the line if you've ever been humiliated in a classroom by a teacher or a student. Oh, make me thin, oh, make me tall Oh, make me everything I'm not So I can be all that they want And please cross the line if you've ever been teased or hurt for wearing glasses, braces, a hearing aid, for the way that you talked, for the clothes that you wore, or for the shape, size, or the appearance of your body. I don't want to be low, don't want to be sad, don't want to be sad. That's how easy it is for us all to come together. Today we want you to see you're never really alone. It's like a habit, just making fun of each other. It's like something that becomes natural. It's like something I never thought about. Your people actually start opening their eyes and seeing that they're not alone in some things. They started seeing through somebody else's eyes. I came here today thinking that this was just a way to get out of a day of school. And being here showed me that there's a lot more to it and that there's a lot more to the people at our school. Right now, I don't feel like more or less than anybody here, and that's the first time I felt that. You know, I thought that a lot of people weren't going to get up, you know, just kind of be like, hey, you know, I like Challenge Day, whatever. That a lot of people, you know, got in depth and got what was ever on their chest, you know, out. I see you and I see me, and I don't see too much difference, man. As a matter of fact, we're wearing the same pants and the same shoes. Only difference is that in our left pocket, there's a different color rag. I'm tired of seeing that, man. We're seeing it, I stop. And I want this to stop, honestly. I don't even know what to say. That was a little scary. I didn't think that the kids would respond at all to it or that it would make a difference, but they proved me wrong. I know I got picked on. I took it out on other people. One of them was Franklin. 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 And I've done it myself, and I'm sorry for it. I don't know if you want to say there's no greater ass up there than me. <laughs> I did not truly understand the power of words till I came here. And I am truly sorry to the millions of people that I've picked on. Unbelievable amount. I didn't even realize till today. You know, I messed with you since freshman year and we're, we're yeah, Franklin. Oh my god. I am truly embarrassed and deeply sorry for it, man. Even the adults need to apologize, including the assistant principal, who's also a parent. I've always uh, prided myself in being able to uh, be the strong one. And I stand here in front of all of you, um, sharing my weaknesses here. One of the two best days of my life was June 23rd, 1983. 
And on that day, I was blessed with a beautiful son. And I thought I was going to be the best darn mom. And um, I have found that I've done a lot of things to cause him pain in his life. Jake, I'm so sorry. I love you so much. I don't know how to reach out to you. I don't know how to show you I care. But I'm going to keep trying and keep walking. Because no matter what, that day is extremely special to me and so to you. I love you very much. see grown-ups like that it made me realize that parents had to go through it you know they're just like us they're just teenagers like us